Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to talk about potato spindle tuber virod, which is also called as PSTVD. Potato spindle viroid belongs to genus Popside viroid. Potato spindle viroid are smallest known agent of infectious diseases and consists of unique nucleic acid molecule without protein capsid. Potato spindle viroid has 359 nucleotide. Viroid nucleic acid is a single stranded covalently closed circular RNA molecule with a rod like secondary structure characterized by alternate arrangement of double helical region and a single standard loop. Symptoms are severe infection include color change in foliage, smaller leaves and spindle like elongation of the tubers. Sprouting also occur at slow rate than in unaffected potatoes. Replication in viroids. Potato spindle viroid infected cells accumulate partially double stranded RNA structure that contain multimeric strand of both polarity. The viroid lack protein coding ability and the potato spindle tuber viroid replication involves the copying of input circular plus strand by way of rolling circle mechanism. The plus circular RNA unit of potato spindle tuber viroid serves as a template to synthesize multimeric minus strand which are cleaved by RNAs to obtain monomers. The monomers are circularized by an RNA ligase resulting in a copy of original plus circular RNA potato spindle viroid unit. After replication, the progeny RNAs move to neighboring healthy cells through connecting plasmodesmata or distinct part of plant through phloem. Coming to pathogenicity, although the pathogenicity of viroid is not well understood, it is presumed that viroid cause disease by triggering eukaryotic response called RNA silencing. This silencing normally functions to protect against infection caused by double stranded virus by degrading it. Viroid may use this response by hybridizing to specific host mRNA molecule to which they have complementary sequence forming hybrid viroid host and host mRNA double stranded molecule which will elite RNA silencing. This result in destruction of host message and the silencing of the host gene. This lead to disease in the host plant. Coming to transmission, it can be achieved by mechanical transmission of potato spindle viroid to a susceptible plant host. Under field condition, a sick plant may be infected by nearby plant by simple contact. The viroid can also transmit it to other plant during handling that is by using contaminated tool or through seed and pollen. Transmission via aphid also occur. Now how to control this viroid? It can be controlled effectively by planting potato spindle tuber viroid free potato tubers in a field which is free from this viroid. Equipments have to be washed with sanitizer and disinfected with uh, sodium or calcium hypochlorite and 2% sodium hydroxide before moving to another field or sowing another seed line. Viroids are resistant to heat sterilization so sometimes freezing or chemical treatment are more effective. Transgenic potato plant bearing a hammered ribozymes targeting the minus strand RNA of potato spindle tuber viroid and mutated non-functional ribozyme had a high level of resistance to this viroid and were free of this viroid accumulation after inoculation with potato tuber potato spindle tuber viroid. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.